On October 7th, 2018, Palo Alto High School continued the celebration of its centennial with a recreation of the March to Pali on the first day of school. A number of featured speakers and performances by a number of Pali students and teachers. Before the march began, Stephen Steger, Karen Holman, a former mayor of Palo Alto, Melissa Baton Caswell, a member of the Palo Alto Board of Education, and Vivian Fang, the president of Pali's Associated Student Body, spoke to the crowd. After a few brief remarks from each, the march was underway. <laughs> This march recreated the route that students took on the first day of school in 1918, from the old schoolhouse where Channing House is currently located to Pali's current campus. This march is the third in a series of celebrations that Pali hosted in honor of its 100 year birthday. After the march, the crowd gathered for a recreation of the photograph taken on the first day of school in 1918. Pally senior David Hickey was responsible for taking the updated picture. Immediately after the photo, the crowd poured into the Performing Arts Center for a number of performances by Pally students and teachers. Hi, my name is Brittany Kirby and I am a choir teacher here at Palo Alto High School. Today our festival choir is performing three pieces of music um, and one of the pieces is called Hope is the Thing with Feathers. Um, we're really excited about this performance because it was a composition written by a Pali alum named Christopher Tin and uh, he is a Grammy award winning composer so we are really excited to debut this piece in honor of Pali's centennial. Letitia Burton, a teacher at Pali, performed a solo piece and Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon, a Pali alumnus, dedicated a plaque to Anna Shockey, the pioneering woman who led to the construction of Pali's current campus. For more information, visit PaliVoice.com.